Okay, now this is one that I would talk in front of the camera, but I've worked a long day and I, I kind of really just want to talk about this and express this. The fact that movie theaters are not open in British Columbia is kind of ridiculous. I understand that there have been a lot of regulations that have needed to change and things have had to be adjusted and everything because COVID has obviously just been, you know, kind of wrecking through everyone. But the fact that we are now heading into the middle of March and there still has been no word of whether or not they're going to reopen any of the movie theaters, like they haven't even said anything. No one knows. And it's insanity because Quebec and Ontario have reopened their movie theaters. And prior to the movie theaters getting shut down again after reopening an incredibly finite capacity for the summer, back in November when they shut them down again, a lot of the movie theaters were understandably upset by the decision because as of that date when they were shut down again, there had not been a single reported outbreak of COVID at any movie theater in the entirety of BC. And I even think the country of Canada, there had not been a single one because while movie theaters seem like a large access, um, how all the movie theaters were doing it, uh, there was admittedly a few different chains that I went to, a few, a few uh, movie theater on the island, and there was a few movie theaters out where I live here on the mainland, but they all handled it really well. There was absolutely no contact uh, in terms of physical ticket sales, so that whole aspect of me collecting my movie tickets kind of disappeared. So it was all digital. There was pre-assigned seating for everything. Um, and then for uh, the Rio Theater, which is one of the big advocates that I want to talk about in this little rant here, they taped off all of their seats uh, the, the space to do the proper spacing. So there is no physical way that you can sit within six feet of someone you don't know. Everything is spaced out. Like they, they went above and beyond. And despite all that, Bonnie still shut down the movie theaters, and there have some been some people um, that associate movie theaters with large gatherings of anyone. Like so, churches would probably have been looped in with the movie theater things, and obviously sports, and sporting events, and large scale theater things all lumped together. So by letting movie theaters open, you have to let them all open. But I think that's just kind of absurd because, like I had said, the movie theaters have shown that they could do it. And the Rio theater took it so far as all they did is they literally opened themselves up as a bar. And so they're showing hockey games and they're allowed to operate like that, but they are not allowed to operate like a movie theater. And that is just asinine. That is insane. It is stupidity. I understand that Bonnie's got a lot on her plate. She's had an absolute truck ton. I can't imagine what it's been like for her for the last year. I, I, I don't pity the woman's job. She's had a hard, hard job. But the fact that she's given so much help to restaurants who continually have outbreaks happen, that continually have to shut down and do contact tracing and all this stuff. I understand restaurants have it hard too. Like everyone has it hard. Small businesses have it hard. And the small business industry has been absolutely ravaged by COVID and these shutdowns. But I don't understand why a movie theater can't be reopened, and especially when one can literally just take full advantage of their liquor license and they're operating like a bar slash movie theater. It's stupid it's absolutely dumb i've been dying to go back to the movie theater because sure you can always have a great sound system and a great tv and everything at home but it's just not the same as watching a movie in theaters and the fact that we've got some movies supposedly coming back out again this year i like seeing movies at the drive-in except it, it's a bit too cold and my sound speakers in my car are not as good. Like I said, I want the full movie theater experience again. So really, this is obviously a, a hats off to the real theater for showing this bullshit for what it is and making the full use of the irony and the ridiculousness of it all. But also just a shout out that we need to have our movie theaters reopen. We need to open them up again. This is just stupid. Anyways, that's my little rant. I hope you guys are enjoying your lives. Hope everyone's being safe. 
for you Americans who have gotten your theaters reopened, I guess it's a different kind of story for you. I don't know how you guys have done it, but if the if your movie theaters are operating anywhere in the same realm as ours were in terms of 25% capacity inside movie theaters, no means of physical ticket sales, just all digital, having pre-assigned seating so you don't sit, the taping, like the taping is, it looks hideous, but who gives a shit? You just, you're not going there to take a look and see how people taped seats. You're there to go and watch whatever you've paid to watch. So, like I said, the Rio has done the best job out of everyone. So everyone should just follow suit with the Rio Theater. Anyways, that's all for me. Talk to you guys later.